Swiss one back for Vernon behind his goal. Passes to his D partner, Landon Fuller, up the boards. Lagerstrom holds it in. His shot is stopped by Pelaga. Rebound loose. Barnes scores! A shot from the line and a rebound for Jack Barnes, who gets his first goal of the season. Two and a half minutes to go in the first period. Penn Sicton leads 1-0. Well, this one starts with a high pass by James Miller out to center. And Landon Fuller, a defenseman here for Vernon, throws the puck back into his own zone. And that creates an opportunity to the v for the Vs to get in and pressure down in the zone. Turn a puck over. And Jack Barnes on that right circle there just gets a quick shot on net as Vernon's not able to break out. A shot from the point ends up on the stick of Jack Barnes. And he puts one between the legs. From Max Pelaga, all the hard work here for the Vs in the first period pays off. It's 1-0. Behind his goal, on three power play for 44 seconds to start the period. And they do win the all-important face-off to start this man advantage. James Miller, a rink-wide feed right side here. Cilia into the Vernon zone, drops it off into the middle. Sandal, it scores! Twelve seconds into the power play, Penticton takes a 2-0 lead. Ryan Sandlin's fifth goal of the season. Well, you can't draw it up a whole lot better than this, Craig. As you win a draw, get it back, you go D to D, and then a pass cross ice to David Silly as he breaks over the blue line, down the wing, and just a little pass to Sandlin. Right in center ice, Sandlin, a right-handed shot. Coming down Main Street. Pelag has got no real opportunity to make a stop here, just come out. Go down in a butterfly and hope for the best. We'll see this replay right from the puck drop all the way in as D to D across ice. Down the wing and a little pass into center ice and it's in the back of the net. The V is 12 seconds into period two. Lead 2-0. Two Stretch feed behind the defense. Ellen Barlevois backhander stopped by LaFontaine and then Barlevois barrels into the goaltender and you know that's going to draw a crowd here as Ryan Sandlin goes right after Barlevois. LaFontaine laying down in his crease and all... Nine players on the ice get together, and again, this is peak Penticton Vernon right here. Now, we wondered, Craig, before this hockey game, how long it might take for these two teams to renew this rivalry with a new squad both ways. A couple minutes into the third period, as your answer is now, LaFontaine's up. He looks to be okay yeah. for no reason. Make sure you got a good lane, try to get a good shot on that. If not, hang on to it, move it around, kill off some time. James Miller scores! The dagger, James Miller, his second goal of the season, makes it 3 0 Penticton, 4 45 to go. Well, big face off win here inside Vernon's territory, and we know how heavy the shot is of 32 in white, James Miller. Gets that puck up at the high slot. He's almost right on the blue line. Leans into a slap shot. Beats Max Pelaga glove side above the pad. We talked about it early in the season, but you want to be that team that's known for putting teams away when it matters most. James Miller just does, excuse me, just that. It's 3 nothing V's. Off the face off, Brendan Harrogate into the Vernon zone as the game comes to an end. Back-to-back -back shutouts for Jack LaFontaine as the Bees take the first of the home-and-home -home series against the Vernon Vipers. A spirited match here at the SOEC as the hatred rises between these two teams and they'll see each other again in less than 24 hours. Here with the head coach and general manager of the Penticton Vs, Fred Harbinson, following a 3-0 win over the Vernon Vipers. Fred, uh, the win is nice, but I think the more pressing matter might be the status of your two players who left in the third didn't come back. Uh, do you have any preliminary updates on Drew Elzer and Jack Barnes? Uh, Jack uh, has got a broken nose, but he'll be ready to play tomorrow. He's fine, but uh, Elzer is still, he's at the hospital. We'll find out a little bit more, uh, hopefully by tomorrow morning. Uh, the game here obviously got a little spirited there in the third period. Uh, if for the new guys to jump in here in this rivalry against Vernon, it doesn't take long to find out what it's all about, and I thought your team did a, a good job of getting involved and, and not to get involved as well. Yeah, at times. We, we always talk about, you know, team toughness is being able to, you know, play through uh, – you know your game plan making sure that your game plan is is followed and um and if you know and try to play 
to a point where you frustrate the other team. I think we definitely did that tonight. You saw frustration on their part, uh, getting 13 shots. Uh, and you know, I thought we, you know, I thought we were real disciplined in all areas of our game. And I thought, uh, you know, we just we tracked pucks all night. Like we uh, we didn't give up right from the from the start to the finish. Yeah, when you only give up 13 shots against a team that is usually quite potent offensively, I think that's something to take a, a point of pride for the game as well. Absolutely, we know it's going to be a different game tomorrow night in their building. It's uh, you know we got them in ours, and now we got to go to theirs, and uh, it should be a great test. Once again, uh, not the busiest night for your goaltender, Jack Lafontaine. Kind of ramped up in the third period there, but for him to post back-to-back shutouts, uh, quite impressive. Yeah, hey, <laughs> shutouts are shutouts. Uh, they're never easy, and um, and there was you know big gaps. I said, like you said, between between shots, which are a lot of times uh, harder than the ones where you're getting peppered. Appreciate this, and uh, best of luck for tomorrow. Yeah, thank you.